Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be doing a product overview for our DIY utility cabinet system. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with us as we build this Ford Transit. So here at AVC, we've been using this style of utility cabinet here for multiple years. Uh, but when we adapted this system for our DIY market, we wanted to pack them full of extra features so that it worked for as many people as possible. So some of the things we had to keep in mind when designing this cabinet were that we wanted to be able to bolt into your Ford Transit super easily. Everything inside is ready to bolt directly to our Unistrut system, so it's the easiest install you're gonna have. We wanted the cabinets to ship flat so that you can assemble them yourself at home and add any customizations you need. These cabinets are designed to fit all of your power and your water systems in one complete package. They're designed around an 18 gallon water tank and you can put in your own custom home-built battery system or if you're doing like us, you can add your Goal Zero 3000X. We designed these cabinets to be completely reversible. So whether you wanna put your power on your driver's side or your passenger side, it's up to you to set them up for your needs. We also know that using the space over the top of your wheel well can be a pretty difficult option. And so we designed these cabinets to completely encapsulate that wheel well while offering storage above. Another thing is these cabinets are designed to work completely as a standalone product, but they also integrate nicely with our AVC bed system. The outside dimension of each utility cabinet is 69 and a half inches long, 26 and 7 eighths inches tall, and 10 inches deep. The inside dimension of the main cargo compartment is 68 and a half inches wide, 16 and 1 quarter inches tall, and 8 inches deep. This is going to fit a Group 31 battery as well as an 18 gallon water tank. When building these cabinets, we kept in mind that we want you to be able to integrate all the systems into these vans with as little hassle as possible. You don't have to do anything to these cabinets. You can simply assemble them, put them in the van, and you're ready for the road. On the back of each of these cabinets, we're gonna have options for adding up to three switches here at the back. We have an optional water fill, so whatever side your water system's on, you can just cut this in and fill your water system. We also have three knockouts for a USB or a 12 volt. I like to add a 12 volt at the back of my van so I can pump up my paddle boards or power something outside the van if I need to. The last thing we put in here was a universal wire pass through. So if you need to put wires from one cabinet to the next one, uh, this is just a common opening between all of our lower cabinets. So you have a pass through to every other place in the van. Each of the cabinet fronts has a few different options as well. We have another three switches. So if we want switches at the front of our cabinet, we have those there. We have optional venting, so we can cut these vents open. And these line up with our Goal Zero power system. So if we wanna add some extra venting for our Goal Zero, that's ready and built in. We also have two USB or 12 volt knockouts. So if we wanna add power towards the front of our van, we can. And then we have this common two inch hole that lines up with every one of our lower cabinets. And we use those to pass wires and plumbing from the back of the van to the front of the van. Just makes an easy common area to run things front to back. Each utility face has also been routed open to easily install some cargo lighting. We like to use LED ribbons. So these cabinets come manufactured out of Baltic birch plywood. Uh, it's a really nice, very stable plywood material. We always recommend finishing these cabinets out. So whether you coat these things in bed liner like we've done here, or you simply paint them, clear coat them. We leave it up to you so that you can build the van that meets your budget and your look. We finished our cabinets here for this van in a custom color of Raptor bed liner that we spray right here at ABC. Uh, it's a really easy process. You add some color, you shake the thing, you hook it up to your compressor and just spray it on like paint. Uh, it makes a really durable and easy to clean finish. We think it works really great for your garage area. We also added custom aluminum trim to this cabinet. And this is one of the pieces that we just haven't figured out how to manufacture this to send it to you as part of the kit. So for now, this is one you're gonna have to cut at home and we're gonna show you how to do that. These utility cabinets come with all the necessary hardware and doors to make a completely functional utility cabinet. We opted for hatch doors rather than a door on a hinge because we find that if the back of our van is full of cargo or gear and we need to open this door and get inside, a hatch is much easier to pop out and simply get out of the way so we can get to everything inside while still keeping the back packed full of our gear. You might be wondering why we chose an 18 gallon tank for our water system. We found that most people going out for a long weekend, 18 gallons hits you right on the sweet spot. And if you're gonna go out for a much longer trip, adding a couple of extra jugs of water into your kit is really not that big of a deal. If we design something around a 35 gallon system, but we only use 15 gallons of that, that's a lot of extra wasted space and a lot of extra weight we're carrying around for no reason. If you decide you wanna use one of these cabinets for a water system, we designed it around an 18 gallon water tank. We also designed it around this Aquor water fill. This is a really easy municipal style inlet 
for your water system. So if we cut this open, that aqu aqua fill fits right inside and it lines up perfectly with one of the lower tank fittings. So you can plumb that directly to your water tank and fill up your system. We also have cutouts in the shelf. So we put our water pump down here at the bottom and that's a really easy way for us to bring our water down to our water pump and then off to all of our utilities around the van. On the power side of our cabinet over here, we have designed this so it'll fit a standard Group 31 battery. So that's gonna be like your normal AGM battery, uh, your like Battleborn lithium ion battery. Uh, those are all gonna fit nicely in this section here. We also have an option that you can cut down this complete shelf and have a more large and vertical opening. So you can fit different pieces of a power system. Like for us, we put in our Yeti Goal Zero 3000X and all the pieces and parts to make that system completely integrated are included in the kit. If you think that these cabinets are something that can help you with your build, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The next video on our list is going to be assembling these DIY utilities. We'll see you on the next video. So if you think these utility cabinets are cool, why don't you hit that like button and let's get some junk in your trunk. So if you want to put your power on your driver's side, oh, that's the passenger side. Does your vehicle have an ample back end? Let's get some utilities in it.